All right, you can see we got the door installed. In the previous video, I showed the rotted wood kind of underneath the door here. Uh, we got all that cut out, replaced. It's got the new door handle on. The door's got to be painted. It's only a prime door. We're gonna do something with the white trim to kind of match the rest of the exterior. Yeah, it closes and shuts really good. We got it all shimmed up, leveled out, so it shuts properly. So we got everything gutted and prepped and ready to go for the plumbers. They're gonna be doing a lot of work for us, rearranging and making our bathroom situation a lot larger. This is a super small bathroom. The shower was actually in this corner. It was so small, I actually couldn't even film in here. I could only shoot a vertical photo, so I can, I can share that right here just so you can see it. You couldn't even open this door and open the shower door at the same time. It was an absolute nightmare, so we are trying to fit a regular size shower in this very compact, tight space. So we had to get creative with our ideas and how we are going to arrange everything, but I think we have a solid plan. So now, they took this drain, relocated it over here, and now instead of the shower being right here, the entrance of the shower will be right here. So you'll have all of this open space, a nice spot here for a full length mirror and your vanity unit right here. And then the shower will be all the way out to this line. I don't know if you can see it. They drilled out all this concrete and they're relocating this shower drain to right here. This is gonna be kind of a mess back here, but we, they pulled out the regular water heater. We're gonna go with a tankless water heater and mount it on the wall here, so that's gonna save us a ton of space. We're gonna get a stackable washer and dryer unit, but we're planning on knocking this out, putting the washer and dryer here, and then accessing the washer and dryer from that other side of the wall. This will be a full wall now, so you won't be able to see this mess from the kitchen. Um, so now the washer and dryer will be out on the other side of the wall, but it won't be protruding, it'll be flush with the wall in the dining room area. And then to access the water heater and the tank and everything, you just slide the washer and dryer out, and then that'll give you space. Everything's prepped and ready to go, so excited to see how everything turns out. The plumber's got the instant hot water tank installed, which is great. It's really saving us a lot of space in comparison to the hot water tank that we had previous. So now we got the well pump right underneath of it, the hot water tank above it, really saving us space, allowing us to reconfigure this entire bathroom situation.
All right, so the plumbers, they just finished up and everything moved over. We got a nice little space here for a stackable washer and dryer. They got all the plumbing rerouted for us. They got the hook up here for the washer and dryer. We still got to drill a hole for the vent somewhere, probably up here um, for the dryer vent. This instant hot water tank seems to be working well. The water's getting really hot, uh, staying hot. So yeah, so if you can come around here, this is going to be the doorway. If you had to open this and open this, it kind of makes it a jumbled mess. So we're gonna do the sliding barn door to slide on this wall. And then you walk around here, you got your toilet. That's where the vanity is gonna go. And this square right here was where the shower was. So there was almost no room. You, know, you almost had to sneak by here to get into the shower and to brush your teeth and do all that at the vanity. The plumbers, they moved the shower drain, which was right here. They moved it all the way over here, and then they pitched all this for us, framed it up, got all the plumbing configured here to now have the shower faucet and the spout right here. They hung all the cement board for us. They got everything prepped and ready for us to start laying the tile. This is the floor tile that we're gonna go with. And then we are going to do the white subway tile on the walls, we think, with dark gray grout. Yeah, so now that that is complete, we just got to get a couple electrical things done and finished up before we can start insulating and laying the shiplap. On the kitchen area, we're going to do a shiplap for the walls and the ceiling to give it more of like a cabin aesthetic. I finally finished patching and repairing this wall. There were a lot of holes, scratches, and dings. This took me a really long time. I had to remud all of these corners, and they're not perfect. However, I think we're gonna frame this wall in to prevent further dents when you're carrying stuff up the stairs. I've got uh, the ceiling has one coat of paint. The walls have one coat of primer. So I still have to prime a couple of these areas. So while Vanessa's upstairs painting, I think I'm gonna work on getting this framed up. This is where the washer and dryer is gonna go. This is also going to be the access point to the well pump, hot water heater. So if we need to get in here and work on it, we just gotta slide out the washer and dryer from here. That's gotta be perfectly level. So I think I'm gonna frame that out, get a piece of plywood cut, um, clean up this kind of this drywall area. This will all be trimmed up. So while Vanessa's up there painting and priming and fixing the drywall, I think I'm gonna start working on this.
taking pictures? Yep. All right, we got that complete. Dad came over and lended a hand. Now we got the spot for the washer and dryer. So now the washer and dryer is gonna slide right in on here. This will all have shiplap, so you're not gonna have access or see any of this stuff. So if we need to work on or adjust anything with the well pump or the water heater, we just gotta slide the stackable washer and dryer out. And that should give us ample room to work if need be, but uh, yeah, got all the framing done for that. Looks good.